the case type finally returning, which cases you should be checking out and avoiding, and much more, let's hop on into it. Now if you've looked at the market over the past week, you're probably seeing a very interesting trend, and that's the fact that nearly everything across the board case-wise is up. We're talking active duty cases up 25%, we're talking rare cases up 25%, nearly every case is up like 20-25% to 25 if you're taking a low and a high, and that's very interesting considering this is just out of nowhere it seems. The spot for today's video is skin swap now skin swap is the premier place for csgo skins and rust skins they've got a trading feature with highly competitive rates they've got a super easy to use selling feature and if you're looking to deposit today you're going to be getting a 40 percent bonus on your deposit and the best thing if you sign up with the link in the description you're going to be getting a free case worth up to 150 dollars so what are you waiting for join today and fill all of your csgo skin needs now why out of nowhere it appears have these items absolutely blown up? Well, there's one thing for sure, and that's the fact that the Steam Summer Sale ended and these prices started to increase. Now, we can't be for certain what was the cause of this, whether it was people trying to cash out with Steam decks, people trying to buy games, or what have you. It's not 100% sure on that front, but it is quite obvious and consistent all across these graphs. As soon as the Summer Sale ended, prices started to increase quite significantly for these cases. Combine that with the fact that people don't have a ton of options where to put their money right now, and I say that because if you were going to buy into Paris Caps, you probably would have done so already. Paris is sitting at the same position it was just a couple weeks ago, with the fact being hollows are very expensive, they're not super desirable to invest in at this time just because they are so expensive, and a lot of the stickers themselves are still sitting at a relatively high price, which we can see when we look at the Paris ROIs and still see that a lot of them are near 90%, which is extremely high for a CSGO item. And finally, people really like to not understand what the case numbers mean correctly. The fact is case numbers are down quite significantly from April and May. We can't lie about that and it's quite obvious, but the truth is a lot of these case numbers are significantly higher than what we've ever seen in the history of CSGO, and we've seen a lot of growth for a lot of cases over the past five years. And that's very important because we can look at these cases now and see that a lot of them are staying relatively stagnant over the past month or two, but the case unboxing numbers for them have shown that they're still in heavy demand. Now about three months ago, I made a video talking about why cases probably won't be decreasing in price anytime soon and honestly looking at the way the data is now I can reasonably say that that is not a terribly outlandish claim at the current moment we're seeing a lot of cases still being unboxed a heavy amount and right now the demand is relatively low all across the board it's not going to get much lower than it is now now against what some people want you to believe there is actually a pretty significant drop-off that happens during summer this is mainly towards the player base but it also does bleed over into the case market as well. We can see here during the past summer of 2022, there was a drop that was quite significant and dipped down around the end of June. However, you can see that it recovered significantly and that's quite possibly what we're seeing right now, or we're just seeing an even smaller version of that considering ours was a little bit more short-lived in the current moment. Basically to say, I don't think summer is going to be playing a major impact on the current market, at least moving forward at the current moment. Now I had just mentioned that I don't think a lot of cases are going to be decreasing in price. However, there's a couple caveats that go along with that claim, and the first of which is the active duty case, and more specifically the fracture case. I think the fracture case at the current moment is a really bad pickup. That's for a couple different reasons. The first of which is if we want to look at active duty cases, there's no guarantee by any means that the fracture case could be the one to go. Honestly, the snake bite is a little bit more likely at this current moment, just because if we look at unboxing numbers, it's sitting a little bit lower. However, even more than that, the fracture case just became the number one most supplied case in CSGO in the next upcoming week. It's not there yet, but I really wanted to include it as a piece of data. The Fracture case has pretty much passed the Clutch case in being the most supplied case out there currently, which is a very tough feat to overcome. If we want to look at the Clutch case, theoretically the Clutch case should have gone up quite significantly by now if we're just looking at unboxing numbers, but the truth is it had such a massive supply out there that it couldn't overcome it very easily, and I think the Fracture case is going to be sitting in the exact same situation, and I think it's quite likely it's probably going to stagnate for quite a while after it's moved into the rare drop pool. Now on the flip side of that, there's one case that's really standing out to me, and that's the revolver case. Now the revolver case has one thing going for it, and that's the fact that it's got the rare OG knives, and it's currently about the cheapest case to do so. Almost a dollar cheaper than the next one, which is the Vanguard case, and almost two dollars cheaper than the next one after that, which is the Phoenix case. However, I'm going to show you some data I've never shown you before on the channel that shows just how powerful the revolver case 
is in its current standpoint, and that's the fact that the revolver case has currently lost about 13% of its total supply in the past 30 days. Now this data is obviously an estimate, but it shows one thing quite significantly. The revolver case is very in demand, and the graph shows exactly that as well. If we want to look at all of the cases all across the board, there was one outlier. That was the revolver case. The revolver case recovered significantly quicker than every other case we're going to talk about today with the rare cases that are up 25%. The revolver case was up 25%. It recovered like that over a week ago at this point. It showed that it has a lot of demand behind it, and this data backs that up completely. Now that obviously raises the question of should you be buying right now? Should you be selling right now? What should you be doing? And I'm not going to answer that for you. My goal of this video is not to tell you you need to buy right now. But the fact is, I don't think cases are going to be getting too much cheaper, and I think you should take that into consideration when you're looking at your investments to make. Now, you don't need to buy today, you don't need to buy tomorrow, but I will say it's not a terrible time to be looking into these cases, especially figuring out which cases you might want to buy if for some reason they do get a little bit cheaper over the next upcoming weeks. I don't really think we're going to be seeing cases get much cheaper, especially considering we just got a brand new CS2 update of Overpass and Vertigo. The maps are starting to run out, so to say, of ones that Valve can go ahead and put in, and I think that means we're getting somewhat close to potentially seeing a new era of CS2 released. Combine that with the fact that over the past 12 months, CSGO has pretty much doubled in size, and I really don't think there's too much reason for a lot of things to decrease at the current moment. So is it a good time to sell? Not necessarily either. If we want to look at the peaks, I think there's definitely going to be some sort of peak in the near future, and I think you're better off waiting and trying to hit that than selling off right now unless you desperately need the money. Now what is the future of this area is a really hard question, because I'm not going to speculate about a brand new operation or even a brand new case, because I don't think those are too likely at this point. What I do think is likely is the fact that we don't really see anything negative coming for CSGO cases in the near future. The Paris sale is out, and you could already say that people who are going to sell off their cases for Paris capsules have done so already. Therefore, the demand for cases is not going to decrease in any way. Combine that with the fact that the Paris capsules could be removed theoretically in a month, and we could have a period where the only thing that is available for people to go ahead and purchase is cases themselves. Now, one thing I want to throw in here at the end is Valve has just taken their first shot at a big influencer. That's someone by the name of Montana Black. Montana Black Black has got 5 million Twitch followers, 1.4 million Twitter followers, and almost 6 million YouTube subscribers, and he's just been banned by Valve, presumably from his connection to gambling. Now, Montana Black has actually been unbanned since this went through, however, this shows that Valve has no systems in place preventing anyone from getting banned, at least in my opinion, which is a really interesting predicament. Hope you have a great rest of your day.